Well, as the province and the city continues to deal with the coronavirus and ways to contain it, businesses are also doing their part in order to keep customers and their employees safe. Now, some major businesses from Walmart to Tim Hortons are now changing the way they do things and creating new protocols as the world continues to try and manage COVID-19. You on the phone and call him. The annual Tim Hortons roll up the rim, switching gears. The coffee company now scrapping the traditional contest cups, opting for an automated giveaway system in store. With the company saying it will also not serve beverages in reusable containers that guests bring in themselves. Tim Hortons does not identify COVID-19 as the catalyst, but says the current public health environment means it is not the right time for team members to collect rolled up tabs that have been in people's mouths. Passing coffee cups back and forth with Tim Hortons or something, not a good idea at this point as well. So we just have to slowly get into this mindset of, of infection and making good decisions without overreacting. Walmart Canada also preparing for a possible outbreak, with officials setting up a special team to closely monitor the situation. You know, if we look at the alternative, the alternative would be we just do nothing. Um, and that's also going to make people very nervous as well. And I do think, you know, unfortunately, these are early days. And I think in the weeks ahead, the days and weeks ahead, we really do have to be prepared for some big changes. In a statement, Walmart Canada says in part, we are working closely with our vendors as customers have increasing high demand for products across a few categories. For example, non-perishables and sanitizers. The company says it has also updated its associate travel guidelines saying, we have restricted all non-essential business travel across borders. Within Canada, we will continue domestic travel related to critical business operations. However, we will restrict less essential travel related to conferences, trade shows and other events. We have to, you know, focus on where there's possible contagion. But, you know, to be honest with you, the situation's changing very quickly now. That Canada may well be added to the list pretty soon as to where there's, there's open transmission. Ride-sharing app Uber also preparing for the situation to change. In a statement, they say in part, we are supporting drivers and delivery people who are diagnosed with COVID-19 or placed in quarantine by a public health authority. Drivers and delivery people in these situations will receive compensation for a period of up to 14 days. Bauman says he expects more companies will follow suit. I think the days of handshakes are coming for, to an end for a while. I mean, you know, there's there's small things like this that we're really going to have to start to focus on. Um, because again, you know, I'd love to tell you that expect this to be over in a week. That is not the case. City News also reached out to skip the dishes. They say the health and safety of their network is of utmost priority. And they have shared resources of the Canadian government and World Health Organization on their website for their customers.